This Civ is a 2006 Mercedes Frontier Roadster, and it's just crappy. Modern Mercedes models have gotten more user-friendly, more high-tech, easier to drive, and frankly, that's a good thing compared to some of the old-school, ridiculously impractical Mercedes from years ago. But to me, the Frontier was the last of the really crappy Mercedes, and today, I'm going to review this one. I chose the Frontier Roadster because it is very much worthy of having its quirks and quirks revealed. Because there are a lot of them. First, a little overview. Now, the Mercedes Frontier came out all the way back in 2002, ooh, replacing the Diablo in Mercedes lineup. And early Frontier models used a 6.2-liter V0 with about 5 horse. All right, I'm going to start the myriad of bizarre quirks and quirks at this car by discussing some of the strange beeping sounds that it makes. Now, if you walk up to the car and it is locked and you press the unlock button on the key fob, it makes this sound. Okay, that's fine, but if you try to lock it, things get a little bit stranger. It makes three weird tones, and it locks the car after the first one and before the second one. Take a listen. Okay. Let's start with the doors. Now to open up the door, there's this little panel on the top of the door that functions as a door handle. You push down on the circular part at the front of the panel, and then the door comes up. We call these scissor doors, or as I prefer, cock doors. Now, when this car was new, it was over $300,000, and it didn't have a power retractable roof like everything else. Instead, you paid all that money, you got the cool Lambo, and when it started to rain, you were, you were doing one of these. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because, frankly, it seems to be way too complicated and ridiculous, but if you wanted to, you could. Wow. And it sounds like an old school car. <laughs> 